Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing a full walkthrough and tutorial on using System.io in building out your funnel and setting up your first email series. Now if you haven't taken advantage of System.io, I would encourage you to click the link in the description below. All it will take is your email address and you can start building out your funnels, your email follow-up series and plenty more, you know, even building your website and various other things that you can do with inside this platform for completely for free just by entering your email address. So in the video, I will talk you through how you actually set up the pages, how you go about setting up your first email campaign, just so you can start using this tool to drive traffic to any offers that you're running for your affiliate business or whatever it is that you're doing online. And if you are looking at ways of generating an income online and you're not sure how to use tools like this to make money, then there is a completely free click by click course as well, which I will leave in the description for you to take advantage of. So let's go and build a funnel. So once you've joined and you've logged into the back office, this is what you'll be greeted with. So it's a really clean platform. Um, so you basically want to go to funnels because that's the first thing we want to do. And here you have the option to build three funnels because you can build three funnels completely for free if you're starting out. So we need to go to create and we're going to build a funnel that, where we want to capture email addresses. So we want to build an audience. We can name the funnel whatever we want. I'll just call it my name for now. Um, again, you can choose um, any currency you're working with. So if you're selling products from your funnel or you know, depending on what you're doing, you want to be able to choose your currency, but I'll leave it as dollars for now. So here we are at the um, template stage. So you can decide on the kind of template you want to be able to use. Now for this, um, I don't want a thank you page because I, all I'm going to do is once I've grabbed um, somebody's email address I want to basically send them to the offer so let's just delete this page so we just want the squeeze page and let's have a flick through here and I will choose one for the purpose of this video I'm actually going to do one where I actually promote um, system.io so let's just have a look um, so I'm going to go with this particular um, squeeze page here you can give it a name I will call it um, system two just for the purpose of this because I have another opt-in page it's similar in name and then here we want to go to edit so we'll come over here to the pencil icon click the edit button and you'll be taken to the editor now the editor is really really easy to use um, each one of these boxes or elements you can actually go into and actually change so you can change the text uh, you can drag and drop um, different elements into uh, your page as well. You can add video, for example, if we wanted to drop a video in here, we can simply come here and, and drop a video. Um, for the purpose of this, I won't use the video. I just want a clean opt-in page. Let's just get rid of this. And the beauty of the products itself is there's plenty of different types of pages you can you can use and choose from. So you have you know you have basically everything you need to get started. And this tool is designed for people that are starting out because you can grow. The, you know basically you can start using it for free, and as you grow, you're you'll be able to pay for some of the other services you know when you get to a certain size so you can do everything you need as an affiliate for free to start with so let's have a look at the headline i want to change this up a bit so i'm going to go along and just plagiarize a little bit of their own web page if i just copy this text i want to put that in here so if i click and paste um i don't want it all to be black let's make this stand out a little bit so easiest and fastest i think i'll change the color Let's change that to a nice green. Okay, that's fine. Everything else is fine. It's all in bold. Um, I'll leave this image as it is. The beauty of this product as well, because it has a built-in email autoresponder, you don't need to worry about adding um, your you know, external email accounts to this because you won't need to do that. So you can leave this as, as is because once somebody does put their email in, they'll automatically be become a part of you know your system there'll be a contact within um, system.io so we can leave that as is so let's have a look about testimonials um, we can change this up if we wanted to change this up <clears throat> let's just think um, system.io has made building if I can spell <laughs> building So much easier um, with these simple to use tools. Um, and 
again here, you know, anything that's relevant to your offer, you've got to think about it based on what it is that you're doing online. So if you have testimonials from the product pages that you are promoting, by all means use them. Um, for the purpose of this, I will just change this out to, um, best tool for anyone starting out online. to start and grow their online business highly recommended. What's that spell on that? Okay, cool. Change that. Um, Okay, you get a picture, so you can change this out. So if you've got a particular product you're, you're selling, if you've got testimonies you can use, just go in there and grab those. Um, I will get rid of this because I don't need this. Um, I don't want two on this page. If I delete this, um, we get rid of this. And then we get rid of this as well. Okay. Um, at the bottom here, you can change the um, link. So if you have a, an, ex, you know, an external domain name, as well so if you've got your own website etc you can go in here and add that in here so for me I will change this to affiliateincomehero.com uh, and then we also want to hyperlink this so it goes to my website you also want to put your privacy policy page disclaimer and things like that here um, again you want to link that to um, the actual page itself so PS click save <clears throat> and there you go that's, that's done so that's now a clickable link um, I want to add an element in here so underneath this page I think I want to add three columns so we can add some text I want it to stay central so let's just move this out and if I go to the page Let's just plagiarise a little bit more. Again, you know, you can take more time over this. I'm just trying to show you the actual process of actually doing this. So I'll grab this because that's great copy. And I will put this in a bulleted list in here. Paste. Let's space this out a little bit. Uh, actually, let's Get rid of this. Okay. Let's just have a quick look at what that would look like. This bar at the top, just for, ignore this. This doesn't appear when you actually go to the actual page. This is just a preview of what you've done. So you can see the elements that we have changed. You can add your own header in if you have your own graphic that you want to, this, you know, your own logo. You can change this out if you wanted to change this out. For the purposes of this video, I think that's fine. Um, this is the text I've added, the testimonial where we put that one liner, and then obviously this testimonial. Again, if, you grab, if you're going to use testimonials, they have to be authentic. So take them from the sales page of the products that you're, you know are good because you use them yourself, and then you can add those in here. So. The page itself looks really clean, I'm quite happy with that. The only thing I want to move across a little bit is this if I can. So let's just move back into here. Can I move that out any further? I don't think we can move any further, no. So let's just see if I can centralise that a little bit. No, that's not letting me to move it. Okay. But I think you'll agree, you know, for what it is, for a page builder that allows you to change the elements out. Uh, very simply, very quickly, especially if you're new, it's a, it's a great tool to use. So this is the page, it's pretty much done. So if we just click on Save Changes, and then we go back to the dashboard, um, this is the URL. So if we copy that link and we go to a new, a new window, this is our page, this is where you can send your traffic to, you know, via whatever means you're using, social media, or if you're 
uh, doing videos like I am, you can obviously put this in the link in the bio and when somebody clicks on that link, they enter their email address, then they'll be obviously on your list. But how do you send them emails? So let's go ahead and do that. Now within system.io there's two ways that you can actually do your emails. You can do that through the email tab here where you can actually do newsletters that you can just send off as one-offs. You know, like you can just send an offer off to your list. You've got campaigns as well where you can build out campaigns, but you've also got this automation section which allows you to do workflows. Now if I'm honest, the automations and the uh, email uh, campaigns should really be in one place because it can get confusing especially if you're new to using these kind of tools so I'm going to stick with automations but the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to um, tag our contacts so in other email autoresponders like get response you can segment your list depending on where they've come from etc um, system dial works slightly different so if we just want to be able to tell what our subscribers have done, where they've come from, etc. We need to be able to tell it. So if we go here and we add a new tag, oh, beg your pardon, let's just get rid of this older one here. If I just delete this, confirm. <clears throat> I want to add a new tag. Uh, let's call it uh, system.io2 opt-in. So this lets us know where this particular subscriber's come from. So if we come in here, we can see once someone comes through and they sign up on this page, they'll automatically be given a tag, which then will mean that when we see our list of contacts in here, there will be a tag that tells you where that leads come from. So it's just a way of identifying where the traffic's coming from so you understand what you're doing with your traffic and you know where it's come from, etc. So let's go to automations because we want to actually build a workflow out. So this is basically sending emails and automating the process for us. So if we want to create a new workflow, let's call this a system opt-in, it's nice and easy. And then if we want to add the emails, we come into the workflow we just created and you get one free workflow if you just want to join the program to use for free. Um, obviously, if you, know, if you upgrade, you can do as many as you like. It's um, a really great product. So to create your first, first trigger, we need to tell it where it's going to come from. It's going to come from a funnel subscription. Let's choose the funnel. Um, and it was, yeah, so we called the squeeze page my name, if you remember. So we click create. So whenever anyone comes to this page, they enter their email address, um, they'll automatically be tagged. Oh, sorry, the, we, all, we know that they're going to be coming from the squeeze page. We need to add a tag. So if we do an action, and we apply a tag and we select the tag system.io opt-in so we know where they've come from so they've automatically tagged and then we want to do a, an email so the first thing we want to do is we want to send them an email so let's just have a look send email uh, you have the option of being able to select emails that you may have already done within the campaign section which is why I said it can get confusing but I don't want to do that I'll send an email but I'm going to create a new one so subject, let's just call that welcome. Save and edit. So in here we have the option of being able to put our text. So welcome, uh, welcome, thanks for subscribing to my newsletter. Or whatever it is you can put whatever you want in here you want to put a sender's name so if you put your name or whatever your company name is send his email address <clears throat> again if you have a, a gmail account whatever you can use that um, and then here you can put the body of your email you've also got um, um, these shortcuts here so it will grab first names from the email list that you've set up so whatever you have set up here you can also make sure that's included in the, the body so you can just basically take this code so for example if you want to put first name you just take that um, hi first name so they will automatically put their name in there so it's more personalized uh, and then just put your text in here so let's just put thanks for joining um, uh, so here is your your free gift or whatever it is you're doing so whatever the you know if you've enticed them to come into your list you can obviously talk about that and then basically whatever you want to do in the email in the email series really you want to talk about value 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 then try and sell so that's you know I think Gary Vaynerchuk says jab 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 hook 
So, you know, give them value, value, value. Then you send them a hook or some kind of offer. So you also get the option to attach anything. So if you have on the, you know, your squeeze page, you've said, you know, opt into my page and get my free PDF on, you know, how to lose weight or how to make your first dollar online, whatever it is, you can add an attachment and then you can choose the file from wherever you saved that file. So they'll automatically get that as part of their email sign up. So once you've done that, you click save. So now we've got our first welcome email. They've had a tag applied to them so you know where they've come from. Now we want to do something else. Let's add a, oh, beg your pardon, no. We want to add a delay because this is where you can then automate the process. So if it asks them to wait one day or two days, whatever it is, however, however many emails you've got in your series and however you want to drip that series content over, you need to obviously use your common sense here as to how long you need to wait. Then we need to add another action. So let's do another email. Send an email. Again, we want to create a new one because I think this is the best way to use this tool unless they change it up in the future. I'm sure they may do because there's other people that have made the same comment. So uh, day two of the free training. Save and edit. So it's already put that title in there. Again, subject lines and things like that. You know, you need to use subject lines that are going to get people to open your emails. And um, you know, if you if you would like to learn how to do better copy, better emails, understand how to be a better marketer, as I said, the link in the description below will take you to a free course that will teach you how to do all this. So this this tool's great, but if you don't know how to use the tool, you're not going to make any money online. So go ahead and check that link out. Send us email again, as I said, just whatever your name is or business name. And then the same again, here is day two of the free training, blah, 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 blah. So once you've done that, we want to, again, you can add attachments if you wanted to, but let's just save. So, day, oh, hold on, day, we want to change it to day two really, don't we? Um, Oh well, it's done now anyway, if that's fine, so let's just choose that. So we've got welcome, wait one day, then we need to send that day of training, let's do a third email, choose an action, and here you can see there's lots of different things you can do, so you can, you know, you can do various different things, like if they've been involved in a course, you can send them a course, etc. you can remove tags and other things, but let's send another email, create a new subject line, day three of the free training save and edit name and here against uh, welcome to day three etc etc and save oh beg your pardon we've missed out a step here don't know if anyone's noticed so let's just go in there we need to delay this by day create then we've got day three, and then you can carry on infinitum to as many days you want to be able to do this this um, funnel. Uh, so as I, I'm sure you can see, the tool itself is really easy to use. So once you've done this, this will automatically run. So once you've done this, if we exit here, you can see here it says it's not active yet. To activate it, you just need to go to the end and click activate. You're going to activate this workflow, so let's click confirm. <clears throat> So that means now when we send visitors to this page, um, you know, via whatever traffic source you're using, and again, if you're not sure about how to drive traffic to offers, click that link in the description below where you get taught how to build your business online. Uh, once you've driven traffic to the Squeeze page, they put their email address in here, they will then automatically be part of this email follow-up series. So I really hope that's helped. If you if this is your first time to my channel, uh, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell and I'll notify you when I put other content out like this. I also do product reviews on software and services as well to help you make a better, more informed decision. So until next time, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. My name's Sean from Affiliate Income Hero and I will speak to you soon.